Welcome back to Fromania Bricks, and welcome back to the second fanciest Lego recording studio in our house. That's right, you are back at the kitchen table again, because honestly, the Lego room where we like to record is a chaotic mess. If I showed it to you right now, you would be like, you don't even Lego. Like, you don't even deserve it. Like, get rid of it. I have got sort piles spread out everywhere. I have made chaos in one half of the room. The other half of the room has sets that are stacked that are ready to be placed and displayed. And Caleb is in the process of sorting all of his Mario. And it is a wreck. So we're back at the kitchen table without any food, but with this unbelievably epic Lego gunship. Star Wars Republic gunship. Yes. This set released in... I don't... It Was it 2021? I don't know. You're the Star Wars guy. I don't See, know what to tell you. I think it was 21, but it could have been 22. This Ultimate Collector Series set released sometime in the 20s. Mm -hmm. That's really weird to say, mind you. To say that something released yeah. in the 20s just sounds really weird. But this released in the 20s. That's yeah, 100 years old. It was 3,292 pieces. Yes. And it retailed for 400 Franklins. Not originally. It, it didn't originally retail for 400 Franklins? Initially, no. be <laughs> like $40,000. Oh, for four <laughs> Franklins. <laughs> it originally retailed for um, $350. And then they upped the price on it. That is not cool. No. What? So this set was already manufactured, produced, designed, printed. And on shelves. And on shelves. And Lego upped it $50? Yeah. They dollars? yeah. Not when cool. they went through all the price hikes. I get it. I get that there is inflation and that cost of doing business goes up. And it's totally fine. If Lego needs to increase their prices to keep doing amazing things, we'll keep paying it. <laughs> it hasn't stopped us yet. Micah, this nope. is one of the Ultimate Collector Series sets that you'd hope to have for a long time. And it is inching closer and closer and closer, just weeks away from yep. potential retirement. In fact, it's probably retired by the time this is uploaded. What was that You're supposed saying. to mean? I am going to post this video in December okay. before this set okay. officially retires. But it is about to officially retire. Micah knew that. So he had to do some, uh, let's call it sweet talking, to get this set for Christmas. Mind you, today, the day that we're filming this, is December 13th. It is not Christmas, and Micah got this set for Christmas, and it's sitting in front of us, built, for Christmas. Yep. Care to explain? Um, we got to do one of our Christmas celebrations with our Grammy and Papa early. So I got to build my Lego set early. It is absolutely amazing. You had a smaller version of this gunship. Way small. That was actually a bribe. It was a bribe for <laughs> Micah to ride roller Still coasters at Disney. <laughs> This would have been when Micah was probably 11 or 12 years old? No, because no. it came out in 2013. No, Micah was a young warthog. <laughs> he would have been six years old, yeah. maybe. And he was terrified to ride the roller coasters at Disney. And we said, if you ride the roller coasters, we will get you the Star Wars Republic gunship that was out at that time, that was much smaller. Yeah. And he did it, and he wrote it, and he built it, and now it's forever gone, and then rebuilt. Yeah, but and only partially, because a lot of parts are substituted, and the minifigures were destroyed by... But now you have this one, and your little one could live in the belly of this one. You could, like, put it in its little belly, and it could have a little baby gunship out of its belly. Micah, this is an absolutely incredible set. How long did it take you to build? Probably nine hours, eight or nine hours. Did you time yourself? No. What is the world record of building the Star Wars Ultimate Collector Series Republic gunship? I have no idea. I think you no, set the world so record. Prove us otherwise. Well, I he tried said, my best to take it slow, but I did not do very well. So, Micah, when you get a Lego set, you certainly have in your mind what you think it's going to be like when it's done, as well as what kind of build it's going to be like. Is it fun? Is it redundant? Is it exciting? Is it boring? What was this experience like for you, and how do you feel about the finished product in front of you? 
To me, it was one of the funner UCS to build. Like, when you contrast it to the Star Destroyer or the Ada, which are amazing, but they're very repetitive, some of the building steps, and this felt like it was constantly something different. Yeah, and looking at it, like, I could see the wings, even though they're mirrored, so there is some variation in how you build it. Maybe a little bit of repetition side to side, but overall, you're building one unique ship as opposed to yes. four duplicate legs yeah. or whatever that you're just doing over and over again. Yeah, you only again. repeat stuff two, two times, not four, like in some things for most of it. And it's smaller things. Like the wing only took up one numbered bag. Three bags, only one number. And are you happy with how it looks? Like, are you happy with how Lego put this ship together? Very happy. Were there a lot of stickers in this one? Yeah, I was disappointed by stickers. That was the main disappointment for me, was the, that many stickers. And, like, they're clear back, so dust and stuff gets stuck under them. Stickers are fun, but I just, I don't know. I wish they would print for something of this. Magnitude. What if Lego told you on future Ultimate Collector Series, you could pay a $50 premium for all printed pieces on every set? Would it be worth it to you? I don't. I don't think so. I don't know. Okay. So it's not detracting from it that bad. Not that bad. I see a couple of motion parts. I see that the side panels here yep. swing open and close. That way the little baby gunship can come out. <laughs> On the back, I see it's got a little, what is it, a turret? The plaque calls it an anti-personnel turret. You know what I'm going to call it? What? The gunship has a tail. <laughs> or an umbilical cord from the baby <laughs> gunship. So the side panels move. It looks like this section stays open. Is that correct? Yes, yeah. Nothing. So you really don't want to be standing there in flight. No. On the real gunship, well, is that do. open? Like, yeah, is the that... original version in Attack of the Clones was open, and I think in Revenge of the Sith it closed. So, question then. Yeah. If I am a clone trooper, mm -hmm. it's clone troopers who flew this. Yes. I'm learning something. I am learning something. <laughs> if I'm a clone trooper and I'm standing here and I'm in outer space where there is no atmosphere and oxygen, how am I staying alive? I don't think they went into outer space. Um, they were, I think they were in transported in other ships until they got into the atmosphere. Wait a minute. These until didn't go the into version. outer space? The, the newer version would have, but I don't think this would have because it's open. I thought all Star Wars ships went into outer space. I guess this debunks that then. Yeah, oh I don't think word. it would have. I've got to say that the little balls on the wings, which I assume is where a gunman sits. Well, in the 2013 model, there was a gunman. In this one, there's no place to sit. So I'm assuming that there's not canonically a place to sit because this, they could have put a seat in there. They put a seat in this one. It makes me feel like Jurassic World. <laughs> like the, the balls, the globes that they're in on Jurassic World. Just saying. So you also have two little pods that swing out that do look like they have a place for someone to sit. Is that yes. correct? And then you've got two bays on the front. It looks like those snap and don't fold. Is that correct? Um, yeah, they just pop on and off. Did I just say the word snap with Lego? Clip. Yeah, clip. Clutch power. <laughs> it clutches. It does look like there's some kind of loose gaps that show up in here. Yeah, I just pulled this off because I broke it, so that could be part of it. I had to fix something. But it's only actually held in by one Technic axle. Same for the wings. That's impressive. So tell me about the two minifigs. So first off, there's the Clone Trooper Commander, which is updated version. And I think it was the first set it he, that he came in. But he since came in other ones. But he's nonetheless very cool. And then Mace Windu, who's exclusive to this set, because of a couple small flecks of dirt on his tunic. So this I know, if a, if a minifig is exclusive to a set, it typically drives the value up a little bit. Mm. Is that Mace Windu worth more because of his tunic, Current. or is just his tunic worth more? Well, it would, the whole figure would be worth more and because of the tunic, but currently, no, he's not worth anything, but I could see down the line. It's hit and miss. It could give it more value, or it could not. Just depends on what people care about. So if I get dirt on my tunic, am I worth more money because no. I'm rare? Does that mean I can stop washing clothes? No, no, it doesn't oh, work okay. that way. The stand that it's attached to, is it able to come off of the stand or is that a permanent attachment? Yep, it comes on and off very easily. Very easily? All right, show me. I want to see this. 
Oh, that was way easier than I thought. So it doesn't actually click onto the stand. Nope, it, it just, just rests. It just woo. That woo. actually seems kind of scary yep. to me. It seems like this tiny little stand is not enough to support this big old <laughs> ship that has a baby gunship in its belly. And it needs a little bit more. Does the back open? It looks like the back should open on this. <gasps> it does awesome? open. It does open right below the tail. It opens up on the back. And in the 2013 one, there was actually a little speeder that attached to the ramp that you could then slide out. They didn't give it. On Why the didn't they one. give it the speeder? I don't know. You're paying more for this and you're getting less. You're not getting seat in the wings. You're not getting a speeder out of the butt. Well, you don't have to worry about getting flagged this made for kids. Micah, there's a lot of sets you could get in this $400 range. Are you happy this is the set that you got? Yes, I'm very happy with it. I've always loved this ship, and I had a chance to buy it a year ago, or a year and a half ago now, and I decided not to partially because it would make me sick to even think of a gunship when my 2013 one was already broken down. But no, it was retiring, and I couldn't bear to see it go. So you okay, feel like it was, it was worth it. So if I am... A Lego Star Wars fan, and I missed it going into retirement, right? Which means that it's automatically gone up 15 to 20%, if not more. Is it worth buying now, or can I just pass on it and move on to my next UCS? It just depends on what you like. If you're a big fan of the prequels and the gunship, then do it, as opposed to regretting it when you see it for $700 and wish you had gotten it. Are you offering a money back guarantee if they get it and don't like no, it? No, I'm not. Maybe if you buy this gunship and you don't like it, Micah will guarantee it with a Cloud City Boba Fett. No, I will not. Oh, he won't. I take it back. I just noticed. Even Does this open in the no, back too? It does. it does on the 2013 one, but not this one. There's clips here like it should open. Yeah, it just clips it in. But no, it's... I'm so disappointed. <laughs> That actually makes me sad. Because I don't know if canonically it would open up. Oh, also one more thing that I want noted is the little missiles that are that are made to look like they're loading into the missile launchers up here. That's actually really cool. Yes. That's very cool. Well, Micah, super cool set. I'm super excited that you have this, that you have continued to take over our house <laughs> with insanely large Star Wars Lego sets that we have absolutely no room to store anywhere. Way. And I know that there are two more Ultimate Collector Series Star Wars Legos that are imminently close. Like, one is coming in a couple of days, and one is coming in about a week and a half. And by the time you see the video next summer, <laughs> we'll have all three of those on display. So this puts you at... The Millennium Falcon yes. Ultimate Collector Series, the AT-80 -AT Walker, the Super Star Destroyer. No, just the regular. Regu I want the Super Star Destroyer so bad. Okay, the regular Star Destroyer, the Gunship. Any others? Is that um, Razor Crest? The Razor Crest. Tie Fighter. The Tie Fighter. Slave One. And Slave One. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is seven Ultimate Collector Series in the home currently, soon to be nine. Oh, Wait, no. seven plus two is nine? Yes. Nine. <laughs> well, super cool, Micah. I'm super excited for you in this amazing Christmas present that I have no idea where it's going to go. Maybe it just stays on the kitchen table. That would be nice. Forever. I've got a spot Not in my gonna room, happen. but now there's a bunch of displaced Legos sitting on the floor. Displaced. We have homeless Lego everywhere. I could start storing my mini figs inside of the gunship. Oh yeah, look, Boba can just slide right in yep. here to be transported, and no harm will ever come of him, and I don't believe that <laughs> at all. Thanks for watching again with us this week. We hope that you are inspired to go out there and give more, do more, share more, and love more. Remember to uh, build creativity together, to spend time building and creating memories. Lego is awesome to look at, to display, but more than that, we love the people that it connects us with and the time that we get to share together. Some of our best conversations in life happen 
when we're building brick together. And whatever you do, remember to always go out there and show your smile, because it truly is contagious. Give more, do more, share more in love.